We've been spending a lot of time underground lately. Do you think we should switch it up? Go outside? Feel the sun on our face? Get some vitamin D? Ha, <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Guess I'm as much a vampire in Minecraft as I am in real life. We've had a bunch of new faces around here recently, so if you're new around here, hi, I'm D. I am still pretty new to gaming, though I guess I've been playing Minecraft for like a year and a half now, which is kinda crazy. I'm still learning so much every single day. I am also pretty physically disabled, which means I can only work a very limited amount of time, and Minecraft keeps me sane, and making videos and putting them on YouTube keeps me sane. So if you like watching Minecraft, or you like watching people struggle in Minecraft, or you just wanna support me, like, yeah, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button, and it's been a hot minute since I asked for that, so, yeah. That feels a little weird, actually. Anyways, housekeeping aside, we're not going deep into the caves yet. Instead, we're actually going to, I am just running into everything today. Um, instead of going downwards, we're actually going to work our way upwards here for a second. So, back in this corner, we have this fantastic little area that looks out over the storage system. Yeah, I think, yeah, that goes into dark areas. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to light caves right off the bat. That's why I wanted to start working on this. Good gravy, there is so much. There. That solved our problem there. All right, all right. So everything that connects to this spot seems to be lit up, spawn-proofed. This doesn't look lit up enough. But in developing the lore, I kind of decided that I want this to be the Grand Wizard's Chambers, which will, of course, also be my bedroom, because I don't know if you heard, guys, but I'm the Grand Wizard. No, no. No, I'm more one of the squatters that's moved in here. The lore of the castle as relates to this particular room is just that the castle is a, an ancient gathering ground for mages from all over the world. Um, and that world does include some of our neighbors' builds as well. And so the, there's a lot of just magic and magical rooms and chambers throughout the cave system underneath as well. But then the very lowest parts of the cave started corrupting the higher areas in the castle. And it was time locked and abandoned. So, Grand Wizard Chamber. Much as I adore ores, not in my floors. Now something to know about me is that until just about two years ago, I had never so much as touched a video game controller, honestly. Like, I, I was not brought up in a culture that was okay with video games. It's a whole thing. But it just so happened that well before that, I had discovered the Skyrim soundtrack. And, and when I finally started actually playing video games, well, Skyrim was the first one that I played on my own. So yeah, this, this build is going to be heavily inspired by the um, College of Winterhold's Archmage Chamber. All right, there we go. That's not necessarily perfectly every piece of ore and stone type, but I think we got most of them and we'll replace whatever we come across otherwise as we go I guess the first question is do we want like a, a really organic like shaped floor or do we just want like a straight up checkered floor we could do this but this screams more kitchen than grand wizards chambers a lot of floors especially in minecraft are very geometric um and like just in general too, like they're either one color or very geometric. What if though, we did something that like worked with some of the organic shaping of the natural cave. It's definitely a different kind of floor. I don't know that different necessarily means bad though. I definitely don't hate it. Let's go ahead and put the stone 
like the rest of the way into the floor. And we're gonna need more materials for that. And then we'll go back through and add things like rugs and stuff like that. All right, we've got a floor laid down here and areas kind of starting to get marked out. We've got a pond in and I really was not expecting this floor situation to take so long, but um, now we get to start the details and the very first bit of detailage is up in here. I have been messing around with banners and having a lot of fun. To be clear, I did not design any of these myself. They're all from Pinterest. But I like a couple of these for like possible banners to use around the base. I like this one, which is a light version of the original banner pattern design. And I'm also a big fan of this one as well. So I'm not sure exactly which ones I want to put around, but they're, they're there, there are options. Did you know that you can copy banners just by putting the same base banner in and then voila, there it is. Alrighty, well, the first detail we're actually going to add is going to be right in here. I totally forgot that I wanted to add another fog pond into a base. Well, how do I manage to do this every single time I make one of these? It's okay, someday I will get the counting correct. But I, uh, I started the layers on the wrong, the wrong number, it's fine. But I think if we, yeah, if we set bricks around, that will help a little bit. It's still not the greatest. I'm gonna have to go back ahead and fix that, aren't I? Well, why don't we let that magically fix itself while we get working on other things? Now our next set of decoration is going to be rather interesting. And I think, I think it is time to use the torch flower and pitcher pod seeds, which we haven't actually done much growing of. So when I think about like the garden that's in Skyrim, in the mages, the grand mages, Quarters, whatever they're actually called. Um, like the the main plants that pop into my mind are like the nightshades and the death bells, and then the berries. Um, so we're gonna try to get a bunch of those kinds of things, especially in here around the tree. And to be clear, we're not exactly trying to replicate the Skyrim stuff, but we're trying to get the feel anyways. Look at those torch flowers. They're so pretty. One of the things that always bothered me about the uh, Skyrim mage chamber is that there wasn't enough stuff. Like, as someone who's done a fair bit of both farming and wild crafting and herbal practice myself, what you get in the mage's chambers is just, it's minuscule. It's practically useless. So, we're gonna kind of be going along with like a lot of the same vibes of like, oh, these are magical herbal plants and things like that, but we're gonna have a lot more. Um, like enough for personal use basically is kind of a lot sometimes, sometimes. It depends on what it is. So maybe we'll have something that's like, oh, you only grow like two plants and then you have more than you'll ever need. Um, maybe we'll have, a couple of those around as well. So then we're going to just plant a couple of things around the staircase a little bit. So maybe this is like one of our not as plentiful plants because like, look at that thing. It's producing so much. And we could kind of integrate the ferns around a little bit. Ooh, they're so bright green in this biome. We'll add just some bits of tilled soil. Wheat is such an underrated, like, decoration. Look at that. This is my favorite stage of the pitcher plants. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I wish we could keep them, capture them in this stage forever and ever. It's so pretty. I love it. Okay, this is definitely starting to come together. I have a few more ideas. I think we need a little bit of ground cover. Not too much, but a little bit. 
And, ooh, we could bring in some moss, too, to be honest. Well, this area of the cave is starting to look great, but I think it does need things to grow just a little bit so we can get a little bit of a better idea of what's going on here. So, and there we go. Okay, things are looking much more grown up around here. And we had a little incident over here last time I broke the light. Let's see if this time goes a little better. Okay, yeah, these things kind of exploded a little bit. All right, well, now that our garden area is looking a little bit more gardeny, I had some ideas for the lights here. And I have two different options. This, this one's not gonna work because of the half slab. So, soul lanterns it is. All right, yeah, I like that. I like how, I like how the diorite goes it kind of ties the warped wood and the soul lights together, I feel like. That looks really nice. I like it. All right, well, that was easy, but we have so much more space to fill, including still more of this space. All right, well, this next bit should be fun. We are going to add... Let's see, how's this going to go? If we want the trunk to start just kind of exactly right there... Oh, oops. Okay, it's a start. Now let's start adding some leaves. Let's see, we're gonna use a lot of light blue wool. We've got some concrete and prismarine to add as well. I, I, I think I like this tree. I think I like this whole system here. It's definitely a different style of tree than I've typically done. But I'm not mad about it. Not at all. Okay. Okay. All right. Here is the lore that I'm thinking for this spot. This little area is a research area. So we have some like more rare and unusual plants growing around in pots. They're being tended. Um, and there's research being written down. But this isn't, like, the main, I'm going to do, like, my standard healing alchemy or whatever thing, right? So this spot needs to look a lot more experimental. It's going to have, maybe we should put, like, some, a spoon hanging, a ladle kind of thing hanging from the ceiling there. And we go, bap. Oh, oh, I forgot we can put things in pots now. Oh dear. <laughs> Try that again. Alright, so we got some candles. They don't actually provide all that much light, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll, yeah, we're fine. Um, so now it's armor stand time. Well, this came together beautifully. Let's see if we can't continue the magic elsewhere in this cave. Alright, cute, adorable little footbridge over here. And then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoop that, and we're gonna turn this little spot into a gardening area. Like, <laughs> that's descriptive. Um, this so will go kind of there, and maybe we'll do bamboo trapdoors right here, and then doop doop doop. All right, I feel like we need like a little tiny painting on the wall there and then obviously some lighting. Okay, we'll put a sea pickle down like, you know, they were they had a cup of something. And we put our tripwire hook up here. This one's going to be really really super easy. We hand it a hoe. And there we go. Super super easy tool rack. And there we go, except I think we might end up needing to turn our armor stand around. All right. Okay, same situation as last time. I think we can just droop it by one. There we go. Oh, buddy! Buddy! How'd you, how'd you manage to get yourself stuck? Well, I guess we found out one of the many ways bees die. All right, that is very cute. 
and goes really well next to the little gardener's bench. Okay, I love it. Now, I really like the shape that we've got going on here. I think it's perfect for what I need to do, but I do need to gather a bunch of materials from this because I don't have enough sitting around up here. Okay, so this is a decent start for now. We will start off with just a bunch of dark oak stairs. Let's add a little piece of some very rare diamond stone ore. I think I'm gonna put a couple of iron bars back there for no reason. I feel like we should have some like animal back behind them now. Ooh, I mean, what kind of animal could we do that with? <gasps> Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Um, yeah, time for another adventure. Before we put anything else in, time for another adventure. It's been a hot minute since we trekked across the nether roof with a mob in tow. Oh, come on. Come on. Hmm. Hi. Oh, can I interest you in a barred prison cell? There we go. Oh, I feel terrible for him, but I think that definitely adds some life to the area. All right, so one of the ideas in here that I want to mess around with a little bit is the idea that they're not just doing alchemy anymore, but they're also messing around with like redstone which kind of leads them into the skulk thing and then the lore builds from there so we'll actually also put a shrieker like just back in there Woo! okay that's the, the, the noisy all right i definitely want to put in like a chest and a barrel and maybe maybe you'll hang out with me for a little bit first Ooh. Ooh, this is perfect use for like the lit redstone lamp as well. Ah, I, I, I love, I love the head database and all the, the mini block stuff. It is perfect for detailing. And there we go. Okay. Okay, that's really cute. I love it. I feel like I should have used a different color wood for the gate. It's fine. All right, this is definitely looking adorable, and I very much like it. Now you can officially go back. I have nothing more to add to this area. Scream away. I will back away slowly in the meantime. I have fixed the problem with the shrieker, thanks to a couple sneaky pieces of wool. Look at my, look at my, look at my little sign too. I, I, I love this. Oh my goodness. One of those moments where I did not get it from Pinterest, just from my little brain. And I'm very proud. And, 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 in my thinking about things, I also added some armor stands over here and some mini blocks and just like extra bits. And now it feels like fully fleshed out and detailed. But like, look, we've got, we've got hanging herbs drying from, from the rack there. I love it. Let's talk about banner lore for just a second. I ran this by the beloved and incredibly helpful Pearl. <laughs> and she suggested that, well, we use all three because why not? So this is our initial banner. It is pre-blight, just, you know, golden era of this mage's gathering neutral ground point thing whatever whatever we're calling this and then the blight happens and they're still working on resisting it but our banners magically darken into yeah a, a darker version of the original banner and then once that they've kind of given up on uh, in the fight against the blight and said okay we can't beat this thing and time lock the castle, they put these banners up as a sigil to contain the blight 
and also as a warning to anybody who comes sneaking by as we've seen that people start doing eventually. <laughs> All right, we've already got the basic bits of the pond in, but there are a few key things that are important to all D ponds. Our ores, some blue corals, and we'll get some kelp and soul soil. We can't forget, you know, the drip leaves and the lily pads. Those are super important too. Frog lights and very specifically the verdant ones. It has to be the verdant ones. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I can run with that. I love it. It, it, it needs fish. Duh. <laughs> They're already trying to go up the waterfall. Delightful. Great. Just fantastic. Uh, they're, 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 they're gonna be dead before I'm done detailing this place. No. Okay. Can we bone meal them if there's light? We can. And then we take the light away. All right, let's see if that stays at that growth level now. Oh, if it does, I'm gonna be so happy, you guys. This is, this is my favorite stage of the flower and I think we might be able to leave it at that stage. Fingers crossed. All right, what is the best Minecraft seat design in your opinion? There are so many of them. Yeah, that's a little close. Let's move it back one. And I am trying to just build one off of my own imagination at the moment. Because, you know, creativity. But there's so many really good ones, and I feel like I always do a terrible job when I design Minecraft seating. But hey, it's in our color scheme, so that's all that's required. And we use our favorite handy dandy trigger. Item frame, one of my favorite features of this server, and there are very many favorites. All right, we have so many stupid little trinkets here. Uh, one more, one more, gilded blackstone, and then we'll scatter around some more like books and pieces of papers and stuff like that. Well, I love these armor stands. All right, but genuinely, this area is really cute, and I love it. All right, well, since the last clip, I've kind of done a little bit more details, not too much. We, of course, kind of have, a, have the study, and I added um, some armor stands for the, 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 the fireplace things. The fireplace things, that's what we're calling them. And then I started working on kind of the bedroom living area sort of thing. Um, and I think so far, it's looking pretty cool. We have this little little uh four poster kind of bed with some trees and a little tiny balcony that looks over all this area um we've kind of shaped up this pillar a little bit more added a wardrobe which i still need to add some actual armor to also we have a single fish left and to be honest, he's he's kind of been there for a while. I don't know. This this one might actually survive. Anyways, the enchanting area. Or as Pearl has renamed it, you are enchanting. So I guess the first thing we're going to need for our enchanting area is going to be an enchanting table. And I think I've made like one enchanting table on this server. Maybe two. I might have made a second one. I don't even remember it. Wow. I don't even remember the crafting recipe. I may have made a second enchanting table um, for mini blocks or something. Ah, there it is. I did remember the recipe correctly. All right. Well, obviously that's the first thing. All right. So this is going to be our actual like enchanting table. And I think... I'm thinking, I'm thinking... The brain wheels are turning. I think I want to put in some glow frames with like digital kind of looking items. Like beads might do really well for that. These armor trims have very sigilly looking bits on them. Okay, so much as I love this and it definitely has the most sigilly looking writing on it, I 
do like the very individual look. Like, the actual sigil doesn't make up most of this and is kind of on something else. And so it looks like it's on another item. And I think... I think I want to try, like, some of the other seeds, maybe. <laughs> that looks great. Um, these do hang off the item frame quite a bit. Or, like, off the side of the stair. But I don't think it's terrible. Alrighty, the pillar is looking better. So now, we need to go ahead and add in kind of our other bits. There we go. A little bit of armor stand magic, and we've got bubbles! I think most of the rest of the area is going to be really hard to do on camera, and I'm going to do it a lot faster if I'm just, you know, doing. So I'll go ahead and replay mod those things. Let's get ourselves a little time lapse, and I'll see you on the other side. take a closer look at all the details in just a moment but while I was building I got my first minecraft cape just look at it yeah all right well that is looking lovely oh my goodness I love it and yes there are some pretty dark patches around and I promise you there is no zero light level. In, in fact, let, let's look at it. Nothing. Even in these back little corners. This little dark patch here. There's barely any one levels anymore. But yeah, everything, everything is in except for this these these armor stands all four of them need some armor sets so um we're gonna do a couple of things with those and first we need to actually get ourselves some armor but if we look up here at the top of this staircase we have this armor stand with this lovely armor diamond on iron it's just best armor combo armor armor trim combo um it is just the best so this is like the official ceremonial armor of the castle and so we definitely need to replicate this um which is all i believe ward which is a perfectly named trim for our use as well so obviously these are going to go on the most visible one And this is the one spot where we're going to add an extra invisible armor stand. That is almost the best yet, even though it's floating. Let's... I went through to the other side again. Can we actually see through the... It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> right there. That is definitely, definitely the best of all of our, all of our options and exploits. Uh, all right. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Now we need some sort of wizard hat. What do we use? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm starting to have thoughts, ideas, thoughts, ideas, thoughts, ideas. Ooh, instead of... Instead of a pointy hat or something like that, which can be really fun and we could do some cool stuff with like a blocky kind of hat. But what if we did a crown kind of thing? But this isn't a crown kind of situation. But maybe all the wizards wear diadems or something like that. You know? You feel me? 
Well, alrighty then. That looks pretty dang cool. I like it. Alright, then we're gonna go yellow there, maybe? Let's get you some pants, buddy. There you go. Ooh, yeah, that looks lovely. With that, I think this area is finished, which is kind of crazy to say. I don't know that I have finished a single area in one episode in quite a while. Maybe since my custom biome episode, which is at my starter base, which was like so long ago. This feels really nice to have done. And this, this wonderful little fish needs a name. So he's, he's our survivor. He made it all the way through, at least to the end of the episode. And I think he's found his safe spot right there. So leave a name for him down in the comments. So let's walk through. We start off with our little garden area, which has so many fun little things going on. A bunch of different plants, some farming plants, some things just pretty, a cute little pond, and a gorgeous bonsai tree, um, and a pitcher pod at stage three of growth, permanently and forever. My favorite thing. Um, we've got the little zen garden, of course, with all the clicky, clicky pressure plates that kind of drive me nuts. Then we have our little berry bush corner. I just, I love this corner. This corner is a good corner. And the gardener's bench, I think like this is probably my favorite spot in the entire place. Maybe. I really love this one. We've got a little water pump, which is so cute. And our little flowing river brings us into our area with some planters and all of our like alchemy and experimental kind of stuff. Um, so this is a little bit corrupted by our skulk and has been, it is the like primary alchemy station, but definitely doing some experiments with interesting things. And then over on this side, we have a little alchemy station that's more experimenting with plants. And so they have some research records in here um, and just lots of little plants growing around, little gardening tools and everything. And if we come back down this way, we do have our enchanting area. I just, I'm, I'm so obsessed with the bright green runes, basically, on the enchanting table. It looks so good. I love it. So many details, so many details, lots of little bits and things that they've been enchanting with or experimenting with. Um, in this hypothetical world, amethyst shards are our kind of soul shard kind of things, you know, a la Skyrim. One of my favorite details is all the little cracks in the walls that show the um warped stems through and those have of course a little bit of animation and it's just very pretty over here we have our study which also comes fully equipped with a cozy fireplace for optimal reading conditions i love the bookshelves i love how this all turned out we used a couple of head database things for books because that's that's the one place you really got to do that right We've got our little pond at the entrance to this cave, which comes down from the library upstairs, which is not finished yet. Not even started, in fact. We have cavey bits, and then we have the actual living quarters of our grand mage wizard person. Um, cute little bed area, the clothing that we just finished up, our eating area. So many good bits. Lots of little places where you can go look over the storage system as well, which is pretty cool. I am so in love with how just this entire area turned out because ooh, I had a vague vision in my head for a lot of this when I started out, but I think it turned out even better than I was expecting. So I'll take it. I've never done this detailed of an interior, and it was super fun and also took way longer than I thought. Anyways, let me know what you think of this space and what your favorite part of it is, because I can't, I can't decide. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to put on the thumbnail, because this is just too much to have on a thumbnail. Anyways, thanks for hanging around with me, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. I had a lot of fun with this one. I had so much fun with this one. I'll see you all in the next one.
バイ。